What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a first person 3D puzzle game and that is Ethernod. This one is from Dragon Slumber Games. It did launch March 15th, 2022, so it just launched last week. It offers a free demo on Steam, so if you want to hop in and kind of get your feel for it, you can download the demo for free. Uh, the full retail price of it is $19.99. Now, there will be links to everything down in the description below, so make sure to head on over and at least check out the demo of Ethernaut. Now, to celebrate the launch of the game, Dragon Slumber did sponsor this video through Indie Boost, so thank you very much for that. But without further ado, let's hop right on in and check this one out. Come on, you piece of garbage. I will not stand for a 34th failure. And I have been nothing but gracious. So the least you could do is to work properly. I might not have much time left, but don't think for a second that I'm not stubborn enough to bash on you until my last breath if I have to. Come on, come on, come on. I really need someone to be listening right now. I've done enough talking to myself, and I'm a terrible audience. All right, and here we go. Now, this game is definitely heavily inspired by games like uh, Portal or Talos Principle, and it looks quite fun. Now, the game does offer over a hundred different puzzle rooms, so we are just gonna barely be scratching the surface in this video. And of course, as you progress through, they're gonna get more and more complicated and difficult to figure out. Uh, this one being the very first puzzle room. Um, yeah, we got a pressure plate right there. Let's just go ahead and blast right oh, on through this one. Oh, 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 you're alive, you're there, you triggered the button. Okay, okay, hi. I'm so excited to see that you're up and running. Let me adjust the broadcast system. Hold on. All right, so away we go. Now, the game is going to be based heavily off of light, uh, at least through the initial experience. Yeah, well, got or unlock right over here. So it's going to be about matching colors of light in a way to progress through the next this must puzzle be so room. Confusing for you to wake up in this place. But have no fear, Cornell is here with knowledge. That's me by the way, Dr. Louis Cornell. Pleased to meet you. All right, so a good old Dr. Louis there is going to be our host through this event. And uh what do we have here? All right, so we need to get light triggered onto this panel, I believe, to open that up. Um, and I saw, yeah, we got us a little glowy down here. There we go. And you see it, see the panel powering up, uh, allowing us entrance or passage so, through that particular bit of portal. Bad news. I can't see nor hear you. There's a display here. With some blinking lights, some wiggly lines, but that's all I have. Trust me though, I know how foreboding the construct can feel, and I'm here to keep you company. After everything I've done to get you in there, don't expect to ever get rid of me. Ever. Well, thanks there, uh, Dr. Louie. I appreciate it. Right, so what do we have here? Okay, so we got a white cube and a purple, a little purple plug. Actually, that unlocked it right away. So, assuming this cube comes with us? No. Alright, so it won't let us bring that cube through. Go ahead and just smack it back down here on its original place. Oh, and that actually powered that off. I see, so if it's a purple panel and it's getting white light, it's going to switch that off. So maybe we just need to throw that on the ground here and head on in. Now, what do we have here? Okay, we got a purple panel up top there. Got a white light with the line coming over here. Hmm. We got another purple light inside, so it has to have something to do with this. Uh, can we throw it? No, it's not hitting it up top there. I wonder... 
Can I get up there? Doesn't look like I can get up there while carrying it. Maybe if we... Oh, there we go, there we go. So by blocking off, I guess, this white light, we triggered that purple panel. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to head on through. Okay, while aiming towards an object with an ether cube to remove it, grab with the left hand F to use it with the left hand. Okay. Let's see now. So we've got a white panel here, and we've got a purple light. So it looks like just by removing the purple light, this white light triggered it. So, you know, pretty, still pretty basic as far as the puzzle element getting through here. But let's continue on. And then here, I think, you know, we've got the purple light. So we're going to want a purple panel. And there we go. This purple light, of course, uh, triggering that one. Very nice. All right, so we're making it through pretty easy so far, but remember, uh, this is the very beginning of the game, so the puzzles are going to be very wow, intuitive and easy to hop into. Managed to go through these experiments so fast. I'm keeping a record of your accomplishments here for posterity. Think of it as a nice memento of your time in the construct. Once you get out of this place, and if things go the way I hope they do, future generations will want to know everything about you, the eighth or not. All right, so yeah, that was just literally the intro. There's the title screen. So uh, we're going to make our way through here. Um, looks like we got some stairs. The stairs are actually hidden really well. Once you see them, you can't unsee them. But when you're first looking at the room, I didn't even realize that was there. And it uh, looks like more title screen. It's definitely got kind of a sci-fi steampunk feel to it. I do love the steampunk, uh, I can't say genre, but kind of the steampunk theme to lots of different games just makes for a fun experience but let's go ahead and continue on here and looks like this is just another segment or a little intro okay now here we go processing center which we called the rite of passage we've set up experiments in the adjacent rooms to test the visitors and ensure that they're worthy of the construct I can't let you move on until you've proven yourself. So just choose any room and hop to it. And don't forget to get the prize at the end of each experiment. All right, so this is our first area, uh, the Rite of Passage. Uh, let's see, while uh, find puzzle rooms, reset a room, solve a puzzle tab. Okay, so I don't have any of the puzzles um, discovered yet, I don't think. Reset the puzzle, you can listen... Oh. So there's some four recordings to find. I need to uh, find those. I guess as we experience the puzzles, this one is clearly the very first one. Um, yeah, they're numbered throughout. There's two. There's actually two, three puzzles. Hmm. We'll check that out when we get to it. But first things first, puzzle number one. Let's hop on in. Now, each individual zone, I guess, is going to be broken up into a section of puzzles. You're going to have to complete the puzzles to complete that zone. Uh, but let's see what we got here. Well, we got this. We're going to have to do something with that, right? We plug that in. That's white light to a purple panel. It's not going to work out. Because this one is white. So let's take that one off the pressure plate. And then we will grab this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's just the start of it. Okay, now, what do we have here? So now we got a panel without a color associated, and we've got a white light. Can we take that out? No, that's going to close it. Let's let that open back up here. Um, assuming I'm not going to be able to snag that purple... Do we have anything else in the room here? We do not. Let's uh, let's check it out here and see. Now we're not going to get anything off of it without having something plugged into it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do a sneak move with it. <laughs> what about this? No, nope, that traps us in. So we can't do anything there either. 
what do we do here? Well, we've got to get one of those little plug-in inserts inside, I believe. Oh, here we go. Do we take this? Put it there. And then plug this in. And there we go. That gets it. So uh, we've got the purple light in this area already. And that is our first, our first puzzle solved here. Oh, uh, this is it. Your first vial of raw aether. These machines harvest aether and encapsulate it in raw form. We then process them into aether cubes, which are used to power devices all across the construct. You'll need a lot of raw aether later on, so make sure you grab all of the vials you come across. All right, so that was kind of our prize from that puzzle, and we're going to have to use that later on in the game. So let's go ahead and move on out and uh, see if we can't get puzzle number two solved here. Let's see, and we are just right down the way. What is this? The genius of the Aether Cubes is that they don't actually need to contain the Maxwell Hatham reaction. Instead, each cube contains a single Schrodinger particle, or S particle, with its counterpart dropped inside the reaction. This creates a wormhole which feeds the cube with the corresponding aether. The cube itself stabilizes the S particle, so should it break, the wormhole would simply dissipate, making it perfectly safe for common use. All right, so now another interesting thing is depending on the choices you make, as there will be some questions we'll get asked throughout our experience here, uh, depending on how you answer the questions and how you solve the puddles, puzzles, will change uh, how the story ends. So anxious to see exactly what kind of uh, impact that has on our experience here. Snag that. No, can't snag that. So we've got one light, a white light right here. Right, this one while holding projector to aim, right click. All right, so there we go. And let's see, so we've got a door here. There is our prize right there. That panel is already lit. Okay, that is weird. Oh, you know what? That panel is being lit from this light, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. I solved this one by accident, y'all. So this light is covering the two different panels. It's hitting this panel and it's hitting that panel. Um, so the puzzle here, I kind of ruined it by accident. <laughs> the puzzle here is to figure out how to get light onto both of those panels. And uh, yeah, I mistakenly placed it uh, the right way right up front. So Let's go ahead and uh, we'll we'll take the W there, y'all. We'll claim the win here and um, call this puzzle complete. What a great honor it is to freely navigate these labs. In this construct, we made history every single day through all of our discoveries. But now, if I stepped out of my bunker, well, let's just say I wouldn't make it very far. And I certainly wouldn't want you to be deprived of the joy of my company. Indeed. All right, if we look at the puzzle list now... Okay, yeah, so it's showing two complete. Long shot. All right, so the clue to completing the puzzle was actually in the name. We are given this light a long shot here to cover both of those panels. So the uh, clues... I'm not sure how often that will happen, but the clues may be in the name of the puzzle itself. Now, with that in mind, the next uh, puzzle is called the library. So let's take a look. Now look at all the different puzzles. There is a lot of them. Narrows, lower, excavation. That one's got 15 puzzles in it. So yeah, there is a lot of puzzle rooms to complete here. Uh, it says we've completed two of 94 so far. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way into puzzle number three and see what we've got. We've got these little windows that allow you to peek through. So I got a white light there. And a colorless panel here. Uh, we've got purple over there. And then we've got, okay, the pressure plate here opens up that purple. So let's see. 
if we grab this one, we've got the purple light already, so it's open. We can grab our white light out of there. Let's grab this back, because I think we'll need it. So we just need to get through this door. Purple light, but we actually had a light cube in here. Alright, so... We use that pressure plate and grab this cube, and then... Can we change the colors? There we go. Alright, so yeah, we got the color changed, and... We got the W there oh, on wow, that one as right. well. My hero. You know, since we're about to spend a lot of time together, I need to get to know you better. There's a polling booth in the main hall, which we can use for a limited form of communication. I won't be able to ask your name or anything complicated, but don't worry, we'll get creative. Alright, so a polling booth out in the main hall. Let's see here. Okay, this one is marked three as well, assuming this might be it. Okay, we had to, it looks like we had to spend one of our Aether there to uh, unlock that. So it definitely is important to pick those up. And here Take we go. Breath, no pressure. Here is the first question. What is your gender? I know, I'm boring myself with this question too. And I'll try to come up with a better one next time. But for now, left for male, right for female. All right, we'll go male. male. Of course you are. You would not believe how many guys worked in this place. Hey boss, how about a little diversity? I'm just kidding. My boss isn't here, and neither is anyone else. It's just you, me, and the end of the world. And now that you've answered, I'll open the door leading to the next area. All right, so we got the next area unlocked already. Already moving on after only three vials. I guess you're happy just doing the bare minimum. I won't forget this. I have the memory of a Clark's Nutcracker. In any case, you can return later if you feel compelled to finish a job. Oh, I see. So, Rite of Passage, we still have two experiments remaining. But by completing the three, it does allow us to move on to the next area. Well, let's go back and check out these other two experiments in the Rites of Passage. And, uh, let's see. We want puzzle room number four. And what do we have here? Any little sneaky sneaky hiding anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so... We got a white panel, a purple light. Now if I remove the purple light... Okay, yeah, there's a white light here, so this one opened up. What next here? Hmm... All right, so I'm not seeing... There's another panel there. That's got white light. Uh, we can actually see that room from over here. Yeah, okay. So we got a cube over here. Uh, we got this purple light here. What do we want to do? Well, that panel there is purple as well. So what would happen if we swapped these... Is this one going to open? Maybe we need to move the light over where it hits both of them. There we go. And I can see that panel lighting up now and this one lit up. So assuming I'm going to need this uh, piece, let's go ahead and head on over. Okay, this one is close too. Now that looks like that is the end of this particular experiment room. So we need to get through this door. Or maybe it's going to have us come around. Okay, now these I can't change the color on. They are locked in. Let's see, and that one is white. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Okay, I think I've got it here now. So, when I remove the purple light, the white light from that one is actually opening that door there. However, these are then closed. So if we place the purple light back down, and what, I want to get everything carried into the next room, basically. Let's 
Let's see what we can do here. Okay, yeah, now we've got the white light removed, so this door is remaining open, and now we can carry everything over here. So, and we needed a white light there on that door. It doesn't matter if these doors close now, so we can grab that, and there we go. Sorry, that one was a bit trickier. Uh, that's for sure. Oh, but we're not done yet. What do we got here on this one? see well I don't know what we need for this one I can't see what's going on with the panels here let's grab this we'll put it back in its cube spot if we put that white light back in it powers that one back up and okay and then this door opened so, and then here we go. This one is purple. So we'll throw the light down here. We'll grab the purple light. And is it a, is it a W? Oh my gosh. All right. So we got that one figured out. That one was a little bit trickier. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Ah, to you too. Sounds like you won the grand prize, my friend. That alarm means that I no longer have time to send another astronaut if you can't complete the experiments. Uh-oh. So... The fate of the world is kind of on your shoulders, but, you know, no pressure. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and continue on to the next puzzle. That one was a little bit trickier. I think I may have made it harder than it was, though. Uh, you just kind of have to kind of look through these windows and watch what's going on here in each individual little room. But let's head on over. We got one more experiment remaining in the uh, rite of passage here. Uh, up top? Yep. Experiment number five. Here we go. Right. Oop. And what do we have here? You can't change the color there. Okay, we got a white cube there. We got a pressure plate here. So let's grab that and throw it on the pressure plate. And that will allow us to grab this purple light. Okay, so now we got what? We got white and purple. Let's grab this and come back up top here and see what we can do. Okay, we got a purple light here. We have to direct this one. Okay. This gives us a white cube. So now we should be able to open this one back up. Let's grab this uh, light here. We'll swap it over to a white light. And here we go. Okay, now we need another one here. That's white light as well. I wonder if this is another where you can have two hitting the same spot. Let's see. We aim like right there. Throw it down. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got two hitting that spot. Oh, and now we need another something for a pressure plate let's see this isn't gonna cut it this one is holding both of those open we didn't have anything else in there we did have another okay and there we go there's another white light so we need to bring our white light back up this way to grab that additional light to hold down the pressure plate so we'll direct it up there and yeah, GG's. So very nice. So I think we're gonna. Whoop, I think we're gonna need both of these. Uh, yeah, well, we will need both of these to get through. So we can place this one. This one was um, facing like right there, was it? Okay, yeah. So that covered both of those doors. And then if we grab this light, that will give us something for that pressure plate. So these get more and more um, complex as you go in. I'm sure it, they're going to be crazy, crazy difficult uh, as we progress through even further. I don't want to inflate your ego. I'm just not an inflation kind of guy. But I'm pretty impressed by your progress so far. Oh, thanks. That's really good because, well, spoilers, but 
The experiments deeper in the construct are far more elaborate than this, and unfortunately, <laughs> I will be of exactly zero help throughout all of it. Except for top rank patented moral support, of course. So fare thee well, Mr. Aethernaut. All right, so there we go. We got that one, but I mean, he told us straight up things are going to get more difficult. Uh, however, the rite of passage is complete, the very first hub. Uh, next up would be hub number two. We got two facades, something brewing, uh, lots of interesting stuff there. But that is going to get it for this episode. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more of Aethernaut, as it is fun, very stimulating playing these sorts of games. It's uh, nice to go through some various problem solving to uh, come to the conclusion. But that will get it for now. Thanks an absolute ton. And thank you once again, Dragon Slumber. I do appreciate the opportunity to check out your game here. So hopefully everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy. Thank you.